mistake. Ugh, wow. Well, we'll get it next time. But Frida? No. I took it just before the last hit. Oh, to request the game, I need to send two runs by different people. Alright. So kind of perfect. Yeah. I actually, I found it really interesting. Um, in the Lupiar and Magnolia fight, you can get hit. There's like that short period between the fights or between their HP bars are on the screen. If you get hit by Magnolia's arrows as they're coming down after you beat Lupiar, it doesn't count as a hit towards the fight. I got really scared during a run once. I think it was actually during my PB. And uh, I freaked out because I was like, no, that was actually a solid time. What the hell? And then the heavy arrow showed up anyway. Yeah, I'll try to, um... You speedrun five hibernations? Yeah. Uh, I'll try to- I'll try to get one done before the end of the night. How about that? I might be busy after I finish streaming. Whoops. Oh, wow. That was really solid. That was kind of a douche move. That was also bad. Never mind. You know what? I do a, I do a good thing, and then I do two bad things in a row, and then I do that. Okay, please don't get poisoned. But yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, can you post in the Discord for me, or like send me a message on Discord so I remember? Just at me or whatever. And, uh... What am I? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's all right. I tend to forget things a lot. I have, I have like a god awful memory. I mean, I know it's Enviroware and everything, but still, just in case. Watch there be a leaderboard, like a hidden leaderboard for this somewhere. Or this is like, you know how sometimes like, Japanese runners or Chinese runners will have their own leaderboard somewhere? Like the, how the Tetris Grandmasters have their own leaderboard in Japanese? Imagine it's one of those things where there's like this, there's this crazy small community of EnviroBear runners like in the middle, the middle of the world somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Oh, we've just intruded on everything they know. Oh, not this again. Alright, not so bad. Just in case. Not risking anything. <laughs> Alright, better record the run? Alright, sounds good. That wasn't a very good uh, fight at all. <laughs> there, 
there's some times where it's like, I get a decent Lubella fight. She didn't dive. She didn't do anything unexpected. Like, it was... It was, it was good... It was a good... In, it was... Wow, let me try that again. It was good in terms of what she did. But for some reason, I panicked at, like, every second. <laughs> It's the only real fight I'm all that worried about, I think. That and Frida, because I've been trying to get a really good Frida. I really shouldn't, though. I shouldn't have to worry about Frida at all. I'll be about it. With a decent Frida fight, not too many dogs, and no teleports, I should be like plus three or something, plus four. Ah, uh, that sucks. I need good movement here, though. Sweating like a pig on Cat Smasher. That's inappropriate. I feel like I should take my garden key, uh, split out. It was cool when I was learning the rent, but I feel like it makes me feel bad when I get slow, uh, I go really slow there. Especially since there's nothing you can really do about the bat head sometimes. Like, not really your fault if you lose 0.5 seconds. That's fine. I didn't know Frida could just teleport out there like that, unless that's the default position when uh, Frida teleports. Like, Frida gets teleported off screen or something and then back into uh, screen. That's really odd. Oh, it could be could be the actual starting position. Like, maybe Frida is back there until you get into the zone so they don't have to load Frida in a second time. I'm kind of curious about that now. I hope you got to see that, Felaine. That was... I've never had that happen to me.
That was an amazing fight. That was amazing. Okay. Wow. I've never had her cooperate so well and be able to dodge everything that well at the same time. Like, I usually take a couple hits. I don't usually dodge all of her attacks like that. Anyway. Pretty good right now. This has been a good run so far. I mean, aside from the bad Lubella, and I think, oh right, I missed a shot on Edina, Aya, Edia, whatever. I missed a shot on her, and I'm bad about it. But other than that, it's been pretty solid. But is it really safe? Tell me, Cat Smasher. You tell me. So, how can I do on Grove? Arsonist. So, I can actually take a hit on Arsonist and not be too worried. Uh, not a hit. Yeah, I can take a hit on Arsonist and restart, because I technically have a restart in this, but I prefer if I didn't have to. Okay, so let's see if I can get this jump. Oh. I'm always scared I'm gonna miss that. <laughs> That's a common thing, but I've gotten really cocky around the mini boss. And I've missed the sparse thread. And it just. You just sort of. Looking at the screen, like, what the hell did I just do? Why did I do that? And oh, well, I can't complain with that. <laughs> I really can't complain. All right, so we're going to arsonist now. I kind of want to try 100% one day, just for fun. But I think if I ever get a run that I'm happy with, easy and for normal, I might give 100% a shot just for fun. Just to see what it's like. Looks like a decently fun category. Alright.
Yes. Oh, I could have done the cat sphere after this. Oh, whatever, that's fine. All right, that was a good time save. It's a solid arsonist fight, I'm proud of that. Set yard. Oh, wow! I'm gonna lose time here, aren't I? Yeah, I'm gonna lose some time. With good reason. That was kind of a little bit of an asshole there. Alright, perfect. Second time loss. I think I can do about that. That was so close. All right. So far, so good. Whoops. Ah, oh, that's not good. <laughs> So, I gotta take my time here. That was not good. Oh, it's fine. Here especially, I need to take my time. So you can go high up on that ramp. And then... Jump is really cool to look at. So far so good. Some solid movement. Now, don't be cocky and run into this thing. That wasn't a very good fight, but... Whoops. Sam is right. I kind of choked on that a little bit. That was weird.
Oh, that's the wrong warp. <laughs> that's also... Hang on, whatever. some dangerous parts coming up. But... Other than that... Yeah. Other than that, I'm doing pretty solid. Oh, well, well that was... What am I doing? <laughs> that was a good... Good bomb. Timing quitless Titan Souls required. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, he was telling me about that before too. not been very nice to me lately. Jesus. Oh, this just made the whole next part a whole lot more dangerous. Alright, I'm gonna do this... No, I... never mind. Do the switching after. I just need to remember to make my second one the back patch and then I'm fine. God, I hate this part so much. Oh, alright, perfect. We're all good. Uh, that and this. Alright, here's. Let's see if we can get the one cycle. No, no, no. Yes, there we go. You did not this time. Also, hello, Goliath. Oh. Unicycle. There we go. Wow, that's better than my uh, my easy time. Zik is under some kind of spell. That's why I don't have to cover my mouth fully while I talk. <laughs> what, Cat Smasher? <laughs> what is that? So minus one twelve. Um, what did I do right and what did I do wrong? Slow Edia, slow Lubella. So. I could cut about seven seconds at Edia, at least doing just a safe strat. Let's say five, because usually above 40 is about, you know, 41, 42. Uh, Lubella was just eight seconds slow. That was sad. I had, I had a faulty Lubella. I could have saved a couple of, that, a couple of seconds. Garden Key, I lost a second. Frida, I... Did the regular Frida, and Frida didn't do anything too crazy. Actually, Frida helped me out by 
teleporting towards the door, which I've never seen before. Um, or next to the door, which was outside of the arena. Grove was solid. Arsonist was really good, actually. Um, Setiard was Setiard. I think I got hit. I got hit by barrels. I accidentally some barrels on my way over to the cat lady. Um, Fennel was Fennel. Lupiar. I had a good Lupiar. I had a shitty Magnolia. Uh, instead of using my arrows at the start of the fight, I used the sparse thread, so I cancelled my charge attack, which kind of sucked. <laughs> and then I just had to spam arrows until Magnolia eventually teleported, and then I almost died. Or I almost got hit. Hibiscus Leaf was meh. Queen of Karst was very good. Queen of Karst was amazing. I think my Queen of Karst could have been a little better. Yep. Oh, and I had a bad teleport. I had a bad teleport from Karst Castle to... What was it called? I went to Karst City instead of Forlorn Monastery. So that was like a good couple seconds. Sub-24 is possible. It's so possible. Yeah, it's definitely... It is a PB, Goliath. It is a PB. <laughs> that's that's funny, though. That's funny, because that's 30... It's 28 seconds faster than my easy any percent time. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's that's really cool. Current status, hiccup, wom, dong doof, splutter, whack. Yeah, you got you got it. Sub 24. So now is where I need a good media. I need a good Lubella. Um, if I want, I could go melee heavy Frida, but it's not necessary yet. I had a perfect Lubella too. It was insane. Perfect. Again, good arsonist. I just need to fix up my Magnolia. I could easily save so much time. The bad teleport was like 5 seconds. Edia being plus 6 is shitty. Lubella was easily plus 8. Yeah, there's so much time to save. I'm going to have to start watching other PBs also. I have to see where people are going so much faster. Because Tolu got a 2320 or something in normal yesterday, which is insane. Like, actually insane. Alright, so it's my in game time 2332. I'm gonna hold.